Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Jay, and I'm actually going to show you guys my overview of the Beyonce Renaissance Tour on August the 11th in Atlanta, Georgia at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I was kind of in the nosebleeds, but it is what it is. But before we get to it, make sure you check out my other content like festivals, going to the Janet concerts, and um, just my daily life. Follow, subscribe, like, hit up my TikTok, hit up my Instagram, hit up my Twitter. Yeah, I have fun stuff to show, and then some of it is just boring, but it's my life. Peace, enjoy. Okay, here we go. Let's hit play. Dangerously in love with you, I'll never leave. Cut out all the run, although it sounds really good live. And I like that she brought this like thing back. Which the first time I seen it was Kylie Minogue, although I did see that she did the first time on the Beyonce experience. It was nice to shoot the Bumblebee.
Look around this. That was Atlanta. We were the quietest on the road that he killed. This was just wild. He <laughs> like it just played with the eyes. Yeah, that's a real structure. Yeah, who that is? Blue? I did. <laughs> This 
Before I let you go This is a classic edition. And this is a classic. That was Mariah Carey pants on. <laughs> was trying. <laughs> I did because I was recording. Not for the embarrass my soul. <laughs> now she was trying to help us get on beat because all the echoes, <laughs> everybody was on a different note.
learn to love big bitches both strive am i saying the right words
when it was that big. And to do this three nights in a row and not repeat out the Thank y'all so much for a beautiful night. Okay, let's talk overall. So on concert level out of one to 10, I would give it a, a good 9.7 out of 10. I mean, from the moment it started to the moment it ended, the vibe was vibing, people were having fun. It was straight entertaining. Um, it, it was great. It was a great show. And that's from a person that just came from the Janet show, you know, <laughs> I always got to compare, not really compare, but you know, when there's a, a, a blueprint, hard to ignore it but no Beyonce held her own absolutely amazing um if I could change one thing <laughs> it would be I would like more of a focus on her doing something um she gave us pristine vocals I mean top tier don't know of anybody in my ears live have sounded like that um what else it was there were there were a lot of, of things going on and um, two things I would change. Number one, she's done multiple stadium tours. I get it. It's quick money. But for the sake of your fans, I would love for smaller venues so people that can't afford can be a little bit closer, even if they are far. And then on top of that, I would have liked for her to move. I know she had surgery and maybe me not being in the industry, I don't know how plausible it is for someone to postpone a show. Um maybe that would have thrown everything off but i don't know if that was it because if you look at um on the run and you know a couple of last tours there was a big emphasis more so on clothing and staging and production than her like the last big show where i think she literally destroyed it was um the i am sasha fierce no i'm the miss carter world tour um, granted it didn't necessarily flow and it looked like a put together show, but she murdered the stage. And maybe that was her saying, listen, I proved my point. I am who I am. I am the best at what I do. And y'all better take this. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it at all. Um, I am mad at them $22 ticket prices in Atlanta to go see your show. And I can't even use my AMC stub rewards. I'm a little upset about that. But outside of that, um, if you had the opportunity to see it great if you didn't go because you were skeptical you missed out um again let's stop these wars of pitting artists against each other i'm an absolute janet fan and i can still say that beyonce killed it best show this year and um you know can't wait to see what happens next thanks for watching make sure you guys follow subscribe if you want to join me on my tiki talk page on my twitter page on my Instagram, because I'm here for it. I like to have conversations. So watch, comment, and see ya. Bye.